five excited little monkeys are going trick-or-treating with their babysitter, Lulu. Ghost, Princess, Goblin, Banana, and Alien, Mama reminds her. Don't lose the rascals. But soon, those mischievous monkeys meet other costume friends and decide to try the best Halloween trick ever. Will Lulu be fooled? Or will those five little rascals get tricked by their own monkey business? Well, let's find out when we read Five Little Monkeys Trick or Treat by Eileen Crislow. The five monkeys dressed up for Halloween Hurry, says Mama, your favorite babysitter is here to take you trick-or-treating. Hi, Lulu, shout the monkeys. Banana, alien, ghost, goblin, and princess are ready to go. But I was going out with five little monkeys, says Lulu. Where are they? Taking a nap, giggles the princess. Off they go. Ghost, princess, goblin, banana, and alien. Mama reminds Lulu, don't lose the rascals. Don't worry, says Lulu. Down the street, the alien meets a friend. Nice bunny costume, says the alien. I like yours better, says the friend. We could trade, suggests the alien. Everyone will be so confused, they whisper. As the other trick-or-treaters run down the street, Lulu checks. Banana, ghost, goblin, princess. Oh, oh, oh. Where, where is the alien? Here he comes, exclaims the princess. Now look here, Mr. Alien, Lulu scolds. You monkeys need to stick with me. That's the best Halloween trick ever, whispers the ghost. I wish I could switch costumes. The banana spies two more trick-or-treater friends. It turns out the television would love to switch costumes. I'd much rather be a big yellow banana, she says. The ghost and the robot switch costumes too. This is so funny, they squeal. Lulu will never notice. The ghost and the banana catch up just as Lulu is checking again. Alien, princess, goblin, who, ghost and banana. Everyone is switching costumes, giggles the goblin. This is so silly. We could switch costumes too, suggests two more trick-or-treater friends. Good idea, says the goblin. This is the best Halloween trick. Please to help, says the pumpkin. The grapes and the princess decide to trade too. Lulu won't even notice, says the princess. When the goblin and the princess catch up, Lulu doesn't seem to notice a thing. You monkeys are just in time, she tells them. Then Lulu counts. Princess, goblin, ghost, alien, banana. Oh good, I have all five monkeys. The other trick-or-treaters think that is hilarious. But then Lulu hustles the princess, banana, goblin, ghost, and alien down the street. See you around, she calls to the other trick-or-treaters. 
we have to get home for a big Halloween treat. Uh-oh, cries the big blue bunny. Lulu delivers the banana, ghost, alien, princess, and goblin home to Mama. I didn't lose one, she says. Mama gasps. They look different. Oh, don't worry about that, says Lulu. And then the doorbell rings. Trick or treat, Mama! Mama looks very carefully at the trick or treaters. There must be some mistake, she says, because I am the mama of a banana, alien, ghost, princess, and goblin, and they are already home. Mama closes the door, almost. Uh-oh! But then she peeks out. Why don't you rascals come in for a treat? Mama hugs her monkeys, then scolds them. Poor Lulu! This is trick or treat, not trick and treat. That's okay, says Lulu. I've made the perfect treat for tricksters. Eyeballs and worm juice. Hey, look! It's a trick treat! Yum! Hello, friends. What a fun Halloween story. Why don't you talk to your neighbor? and say what you are going to be for Halloween this year. And I hope you enjoyed our story, but you can find many more books of mine on Storytime with Lorelei. And please subscribe to see new books when they come out. And then click like and share this book with all of your friends. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.